Hello everyone, today we'll be covering the complete lore of the storage units. This will be everything from how they perform in combat, notes that mention them, info from debug and the code, locations related to them, Sieben, and finally, the Kinsa unit. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. STCR units, Saisa Heist Technik, Controller Replicas, more commonly known as storage units, are controller combat replicas of the fifth generation. These units are deployed as Overwatch and Command of a Cadre, and their name in German translates to Stork, likely a reference to their tall build. By the events of the game, most storage units have been corrupted. These lost replicas have been distorted almost beyond recognition and will try to kill you. Corrupted storages are tall and have a strange beak-like growth which they will use to attack you with. This grants them additional range and a very distinct look. Torches serve as the strongest enemy in the game and only appear late into the game. Using debug mode, we can find that they have 80 HP and as of such are larger of a threat than the 50 HP Yules, but still less of a threat than the mini boss Mjaina with 200 HP. This means they require around 5 SMG bursts to bring down, and they will usually travel with other units and will quickly overwhelm you with their high HP, long range, and high damage. They can be dealt with at best using two rifle rounds. However, it is advised that one handles all other units in the room first, as focusing on the storage will enable other units to attack you. When entering a room with a storage, a distinct sound that is very recognizable will play as opposed to the normal combat sound, and I will play that sound now. We can learn more about storages from their overview page. Storages are generation 5 combat leads. They are biomechanical with a polyethylene shell and bullet resistant armor plating as well as being 240 centimeters or 7 foot and 8 inches tall. We can read the rest of the overview and it states the following. Each cadre of a protector security technicians is overseen by a controller unit, the most common of which is the Storch Stork type. One of the tallest replicas, thanks to their extended legs, Storks figuratively and literally keep a bird's eye view of any situation, ready to direct and coordinate their assigned security technicians. Their tough, no-nonsense demeanor, though sometimes described as brutal and even cruel, makes them perfect as unwaving sentinels of order. We can observe the issues that these units face by finding their classified known issues page, which reads as follows. Storage units initially have a short temper. Training them in patience early after deployment is key, as their normal patterns are less stable than other models. Failing to do so may yield an extremely volatile personality prone to cruelty and violence. A common strategy is pairing them closely with an older star unit. Storch's persona stabilizes by showering or bathing. Books on history or mythology work well as fetish objects. One note displays the cruelty of Storch's quite plainly for us, stating the following. I'm officially sick of the Yules next door. They've been listening to that stupid song nonstop since the piano room was locked down. If I have to hear it one more time, I am going over there and smashing that stupid tape recorder to pieces. I wonder if there's a way we can borrow a key so we can get into the dorm and put an end to this madness. I don't care about breaking quarantine if it means never having to hear that song again. This explains that the Storch likely snuck over to their dorm and impaled the music player with a knife to silence the song, likely in the process causing mass persona degradation of the Yules and spreading their corruption, all because they were annoyed about the music. We can also look at propaganda art used by Aeon in regards to the Storch, this art shows the towering Storch wielding a shotgun in one hand and a stun baton in the other, while the nation's flag dominates the background, showing them to be a highly combat-centric unit who stands tall above the others. Moving from notes to what we interact with or learn about in the game, we can start with Sieben. Sieben is the last non-controlled Storch in the game. She's the protector controller, likely meaning she's one of the highest-ranked replicas aside from Adler and Falk. She is the author of the note about the administrator, where Sieben coordinates the day and night shift controllers, reshuffling Storch and Star units to serve both time slots in an attempt to organize the remaining units against the spreading virus, stating, Due to recent events, some security technicians will be serving both work shifts and night shifts. Affected guard units, Star 2304, Star 2305, Star 2306, Star 2309. Affected controller units, Storch 2303, Storch 2306. Until an effective treatment is found or reinforcements are sent from HIMAT, we'll all have to stay strong and do our best to keep the facility secure. Failure is not an option. Storch Sieben, Storch S2307. Her notes likely establish that higher numbered units are ranked higher than their lower numbered cadre members. 
shown here by her 2307, having control over 2303 and 2306. She also notes Adler's mental decay and proposes a plan to try and pull the Calibris in to help keep him in check. P.S. Keep an eye on the administrator unit. Since the incident, he's been acting stranger than usual. Without the commander to keep him in check, we will have to ask the Calibris for help. Despite this, her plan clearly fails by the events of the game, as the facility has been fully lost. Adler is still deranged and free, and the Calibris have been reduced to one member. However, she is still alive by the events of the game, allowing us to speak to the Storch whose plans have all failed. She says the following, You don't look like you belong here. You're an Elster unit, right? This facility is currently on lockdown. You shouldn't be here. I'm the protector controller on duty on this level. I don't know what kind of business you have here, but as you can probably see, we've got bigger issues right now. If you're looking for the commander, I have bad news for you. She got sick and everyone else is getting sick too. That's all I really know about it. I'm sure the administrator knows more, but who knows where he is. I'm not going out there. I'm waiting here for new orders. Until then, I'm not taking any risks. So Seabin is awaiting orders that are never coming due to the collapse of the command structure. Electing to resign herself in the rationing office than rather than die trying to fight the hordes with no real orders, organization, or idea of reinforcements. Her name, Sieben, means seven in German, a reference to the last number in her unit name. We also know that this storch in the rationing room is Sieben, as going into the code, the unit name for this storch is S2307, which is the same as Sieben's. Sieben is also referred to in the shooting range challenge board, where it is stated that she hit 45 out of 60 and was in fifth place which is an unimpressive showing compared to the stars. To understand more about the Storches, we can turn to the two locations in the game that are named after them, aptly the Storch Dorms. The first is found on the sixth floor, Staff of Combinations. This dorm is a small room, and in the back we see lockers, and on one of the Storch propaganda posters, we also see a propaganda poster against Bouillon, representative of the Storch's transfiction on violence. This is also the room where we find the angry note. Looking around, we find two bunk beds, meaning a total of four storches could have stayed in this room during the facility's operation. This room is directly connected to the cleaning room. Seeing as showering is a necessity for persona stabilization, this should not be a large surprise. The room's close proximity to the Yule dorm showcases why the Yules would have been able to annoy them. Its location on the sixth floor likely stands as a way for the facility to easily respond to the issues on this floor, seeing as this is not their main dorm. Finally, its close proximity to the firing range is a display of the unit's violent tendencies. The second is found on the 8th floor controller accommodations. This is the main storage dorm, being around three times larger than its 6th floor counterpart. The storage dorm has eight beds in it. Walking around one will find three dead storages and several enemies, allowing us to understand what happened here. Most likely, the corrupted stars and yules we fight in the game rushed into this room and overpowered the unprepared storage units. While the storage units are great at fighting, being ambushed by the enemy with no warning likely could have been too much for them to prepare for. With this being the main storage storm, it was likely a fatal blow to the facility's fighting power. Observing other details about this room, we see a small personal library in the back corridor, likely filled with mythology books based off their overview page, and this detail is reinforced by the paintings above the beds in this upper area, one of which is Saturn devouring his son, a Greek mythology painting. To close out, we can cover the Kinser or Kranich models. KNCR unit is a hinted elite variant of the Storch unit that is only mentioned as a sender in message inbox. Very, very little is known about these units. However, going to their sole mention, we can see them state the following to Calibri R1622. From Kinser R1622. Subject, be careful. To the block work of Sector C, there are rumors that an Imperial spy is active in your area. A Protector Special Operations unit has been dispatched Aeon headquarters on HiMet to investigate and should arrive within 6 to 12 cycles. Needless to say, should they be successful, this will not reflect well on your record. You know what to do. From this and their logo, one could do some minor theorizing. The Kinser likely are Kranich, due to the abbreviation, and the logo resembling a crane, and Kranich meaning crane. The last C and R of the name are likely controller replica, seeing as they are likely just higher ranked storches. And finally, they are quite likely very high ranking, seen as they outrank the blot work, Squibri R1622, who is already quite high ranking. But with that, I've now covered every detail we have on these murder hungry commanders. They are a rather interesting enemy, and have war that makes us understand just how insane they are. And by extension, Aeon is. While we cannot help Sieben with her plans, we can bring down as many of these hell spawns as we are able to. And that's really all I've got for you guys today. If you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe or to join either my Discord, link below, 
or the r signalis Discord, also linked below. Both are an amazing place where you can find others to talk about this game too. But for now, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.